Hello, hello, and welcome back. It is currently Monday. We've got some new events. Uh, we do have other stuff going on. We'll be going through all of that today because we've got a new solo event with a brand new dragon. We've got a breeding blitz event that contains the Libra dragon in it. And we've got a bottomless dungeon that has the asteroid dragon that I have wanted for a while since he was previously released. So very quickly before we get onto the normal Monday stuff, I do want to point out that we have had a reveal of a new MVP system in DML. So essentially they've explained that they're going to be picking out specific people from various social media and there is a section that who is a community MVP and the MVPs will get a special in-game badge and they'll also get some sort of reward. So they said we'll make our decision on who will be an MVP based on a number of factors but if you're a regular contributor to our Facebook channel by providing polite feedback on the game, helping out other players with their questions or simply making a smile then you'll be considered to be chosen as a community MVP for the month. The hardworking volunteers over on the fan DML wiki website will also be selected as MVPs so regularly helping to maintain the site is a good way to become an MVP. So, um, you know, essentially this is going to be a way to reward people that are frequently engaging with the community and we'll have to see all of the specifics that get revealed to this, but, you know, sounds interesting and at the same time, if they take, uh, you know, feedback from the DML wiki, players like that, and also reward them, hopefully we can, uh, you know, have some good things happen with future events and, you know, like some of the things that happen during the Water Ancient event, people would like to avoid those. But we'll see what happens. It sounds cool at the moment. I'm looking forward to finding out all the logistics behind all of it. But anyway, aside from that, which I will keep updating you when we hear more things about the community stuff, let's take a look at this solo event. So this is the Magic Challenge solo event in DML, and we've got some uh, season points, gems, you know, general uh, gifts or rewards for doing tears in a solo event. We've also got the ghost dragon, uh, not ghost dragon, they've got the same body type, damn it, the jelly dragon. Um, <laughs> I can't believe I got that wrong, but jelly dragon being the uh, tier 4 reward dragon. And then we've also at tier slash level 8 got the spell work dragon, who I don't believe has ever been available to us before, who is a fire plant and void dragon. And again, the way that you can get this dragon is by finishing level slash tier 8 of this magic challenge event. So to start off with we need to collect gold, feed dragons and catch creatures which is quite simple. Collecting gold we do that. For feeding dragons it's always a good idea to hatch a new dragon so throw a fire dragon egg in there, put it in a habitat and then feed it up a little bit that way you don't waste the uh, food that you have and uh, we rinse and repeat do that over and over again and creatures they'll spawn in every now and then. But with solo events, it's important that you're sticking to the timers that they come in. So they say, um, we can't collect another axe for another 30 seconds, but there is a max amount that you can collect over a certain period of time, which is obviously six for the max amount in that pool. And the DML wiki pretty much always has guides for this. So I'm sure that when the guide for this event has been made, it will be posted in the ongoing events section. So make sure you check out the DML wiki again. I've got the DML wiki just in my favourites bar, I click it, takes me to the main page and then you can find all of the ongoing events in the sort of bottom left section here. So uh, maybe give it a couple of hours I'm sure that'll be updated. Or if you want to contribute to it and do it yourself, if you've got the data, go ahead and do that. So that is this new event and the reason why people want to be getting this new spell work dragon, apart from the fact that it's a new dragon, is because it is used as part of the Libra dragon breeding blitz event. So Libra have co of course has been available before but for anyone that doesn't have it already you can potentially breed it this week using the thief dragon and the spell work dragon. So if you are like me and you've already managed to breed thief and you end up finishing the soul event nice and quick you might be able to go for a few breeding attempts at Libra and um, Usually breeding blitz events are very, very strict in their timers, so I wouldn't say it's going to be easy. But there is the possibility, might as well go for it. Even if there's only like one or two attempts that you might get, you might as well give it a go. 
So there is that. Like I mentioned before, we've got the new bottomless dungeon, which inside this dungeon, we do have the asteroid dragon, who I've always loved his design. I just didn't manage to get him last time around. So I'm really eager to get him. And in the dungeon shop, of course, we've got our special deals for Duskwing. We've got pieces of cappuccino, gargoyle, double egg relic, which I bought. And then portal gems, food, boss habitat, and cherry tree. Apart from that, normal dungeon, as per usual. Apparently, we're also going to be getting the schedule for the new Ancient Light event tomorrow, or very soon this week. So that's another thing that you should be on edge and looking forward to seeing. I definitely am. And uh, along with that, we've also got the new Sigil campaign. So this is going to be interesting to see how these dragons have scaled up this time around. And in this Sigil campaign, of course, because we finished the other one, we're going back to number 281 for difficulty. But the reward dragon this month is the new epic porcupine, which was revealed, was it yesterday or the day before? One of the two anyway, but little porcupine being a void, metal and shadow dragon. Um, I do like the fact that we've got very animally themed dragons. I'm curious to see what future ones are going to be. But how many legendary sigils will we run into this time? That's a good question. Um, of course, we know that our team at the moment can do these first few fights. I may end up swapping over to my acceptance team comp at some point. Depends on the enemies that we're going to go against, to be honest with you. But... You know, this is the reason why I know a lot of people are very apprehensive about the Sigil map this time around. And, you know, it makes sense because no one wants to miss out on the final reward being Porcupine this month. Because he's a he's a new dragon. He's a free dragon. Might as well get him if we can. And, um, you see, these fights when we start running into epic evasion sigils can be kind of tricky sometimes. Because if you don't manage to one-shot the dragon and it's got a damage sigil, that can suck. But luckily for me, this, uh, this dragon in the middle that has a legendary evasion isn't actually going to do anything to us. Because he doesn't have a damage sigil attached to him. So we take out the damage sigil dragons first. And then we take out the one that doesn't do a lot of damage. You know, makes sense. Will continue to make sense. And that's the general gist behind getting through a lot of these fights. So that is that one down. What is the next couple of fights? I don't remember. Um, this fight also has dragons that have a lot of damage. Because like, if you don't take out Cosmos and Ares straight away, they will do a lot of damage because of Daredevil. So again, I'm going to ignore the Moosey Moosey. And we're going to go for the other two. See, that sucks. That sucks that we just got destroyed there, basically. So we'll take out the other dragon here. That common sigil has desecrated us. And this is what happens sometimes. Which is why with evasion team comps, I do usually end up suggesting to take acceptance. And that's pretty much the only team comp in which I suggest that. Apart from that, acceptance wonder is the go-to combination. Because that's sort of what's gotten people through the maps. Either Daredevil Purity or Wonder Acceptance. And because Wonder did get buffed in the last patch, it's quite good. So, I mean it was good anyway, but it did get even more buff in terms of working out health. I don't know if it's meant to be like that, but it's pretty good. Um, can I please get off the sigil chest screen? Wonderful. And um, these dragons have witchcraft. Which can also be quite scary, but it's not as scary as, you know, Daredevil or Purity. But it can still do a lot of damage. So again, we're going to go for the two that don't have evasion, then take out the evasion dragon. Just try and prioritize the ones that you can guarantee that you will defeat in one or two hits, rather than the ones that you won't. Even, uh, even common sigils are destroying me a little bit. So, you know, that's the general gist. Or, again, just don't use Purity Daredevil against these dragons that are using evasion. But it can still work, as you can see. So we'll keep going through this Sigil campaign map through this month. Um, I'm curious to see if we'll run into any big problems. I hope we don't. But if we do, um, if anything, maybe you, you'll find it funny and you'll laugh at me. So that's not actually a bad thing for you, is it? You could just go, <laughs> she's been destroyed. 
Uh, one final thing, actually, to mention is that if you really want to try and breed for the Breeding Blitz Dragon, then there is a bundle out for spell work as well. So if you don't want to do the solo event, and you just cannot, maybe because you're constrained by time, there is a bundle out for £12.50, which is going to be slightly different depending on your platform. So you can also buy the dragon outright. Obviously, I normally recommend not doing that because it is free to play available. But if you want to do it, the option is there. Another thing I didn't really um, realize was the fact that I don't actually own Chestnut. I thought I did, but I don't actually own the Chestnut Dragon, so I'm going to have to get to breeding him as well. You now we've got Arcane here, we've got Thief in the breeding den, and then I really want to breed for Chestnut. But before I do start breeding random things, remember that during solo events, occasionally we will be asked to breed dragons. So if you do have two breeding dens, or even just one, ideally if you want spell work, you would just be breeding fire and wind dragons that aren't enchanted. But if you don't care about the solo event, then just go crazy and breed whatever you want. <laughs> Classic. Maybe I should just use some of my um, second breeding den tokens here to go for and chestnut because don't get me wrong extra den right now is on sale but i do tend to prefer the 60 day option um if i was gonna buy it not that it's a bad deal overall but i'm gonna use an extra den relic so now we've got the extra den open and we might as well start trying to breed for mr chestnut so honey and smoke is the combo of course we got quite a few possible outcomes what is that one two three four five six seven Let's go for Mr. Chestnut. I could use a double egg relic, but I don't care. And 16 hours. Is that the breeding time for Chestnut? Um, I actually don't remember. Does the DML planner have the um, information for this? Let's have a look. Because again, if I'm ever not sure on a breeding time for a dragon, because, you know, there's hundreds and hundreds of dragons in DML, I normally go to the planner website. I have a look or I look up a dragon's name, we hit breed, and then we take a look at the possible outcomes here. So, um, no, it looks like we got the breeding time for the tiger dragon, which is unfortunate. So Chestnut's got a 12 hour, 48 minute breeding time. I thought that we probably would have ended up breeding tiger by accident, but around about a 5% chance to breed Chestnut. So we'll have to try again. We'll try again afterwards, but really really easy way of checking stuff which you know is also the a, another good thing about this dml mvp stuff that's coming out because you know things like the dml wiki are always great for checking event stuff and then we have the dml planner which is just fantastic for checking any breeding stuff and then i'm basically just thrown there in the middle just trying to keep people up to date on the news that aren't on those social media channels um, you know, everyone has their own use, everyone does their own thing, and they will have their own specialties, I guess you could say. Obviously, sometimes people are just too lazy to check certain social media, which is completely understandable. Very, very understandable. I know what it's like to be lazy, trust me. Um, which is why it's sort of my role, or I sort of go out of my way to just follow every social media channel and just throw stuff up when we find it out. But, you know, I've always linked the DML wiki and the planners and any other things that I've used to, you know, find out Dragon of the Month breeding combinations because they do help massively. If you're a player that doesn't use the DML planner and the DML wiki, you are gonna be way behind on average players that do use those resources. Mainly for, again, like solo events, because the timers are so strict sometimes, it's almost a necessity to keep track of all of them using the wiki. And, you know, they do all the maths for you, or someone will do it and then post it on there. And that's always helpful. So, um, I've always been appreciative of everyone's help with doing DML community-related stuff. You know, everyone will help in one way or another. But it is true that when you give criticism to, say, people like Gameloft, we should do it in a way that isn't just name-calling, essentially. Because have you ever had it where 
say you've done something wrong or say you were going to do something and then someone just shouts and screams at you and then you just don't want to listen to them whatsoever. That's sort of what ends up happening. Like say Gameloft were to, I don't know, bring out the next ancient event and say people disliked it. If people don't actually explain what they dislike and why they dislike it, it's not actually going to help and they're just going to be even less inclined to want to, you know, listen to us as a overall community. So that's all of Facebook, all of the forums, all of Discord, all of the other social media channels, Instagram, everywhere. So even though I myself may get frustrated from time to time, um, yes, I do get frustrated sometimes with some decisions that not just the ML make. Don't get me wrong, I play a lot of video games. And I get very frustrated with some choices that a lot of developers make. Because nothing's ever perfect, as much as we wish it was. But um, at the same time, whatever I think or you think is the correct way for a developer to go about something might not necessarily always be true. Because the other players might not always agree with you. So you just gotta hope that, you know, game developers as a whole listen to as many people as they possibly can. Um, it's really easy to get misled as well in what a good feature can be when you only listen to one side of a community and ignore the other parts. And I'm not just using DML as an example, I'm thinking mainly about other games when I mention that. So it's not an easy thing to do. You're never gonna make everyone happy. And uh, some people are going to support you regardless of the terrible decisions that you or a company or anything else makes. So that's the reason why I try and go into things open-minded and then I'll give events a go. And then if I'm disappointed with them then, that's when I sort of give my take on things. And yes, like all, I myself am not perfect, far from it. Which is the reason why... You know, I try and get as many perspectives on things as I can. I mean, have you ever read through YouTube comments? Have you ever read through Facebook comments and just seen some of the things that people post? And sometimes you're like, really? Really, you're going to say that? And, you know, sometimes so certain social media sites make me think that more than others. But regardless, I still try and find the logical throughput. No matter how stupid it sounds. No matter how ridiculous it is, and sometimes no matter how much they actually just, you know, threaten me, which does happen a lot, <laughs> it is YouTube after all, um, but no matter how brazen their response is to me, or I see people say things about like Gameloft, I always try and understand or try to see where the, the person's coming from, and I think Having more things like community MVPs for multiple forms of social media. If more games did that, it would probably help out a lot. I can also see this potentially backfiring and um, making other people even feel more jealous than they did before. But I think if it's done in the right way, it can be very useful to the community. So right now, I'm feeling positive. Remember we had DML Positivity Day and November is designated Ceremony Appreciation Month. So I'm going to remain positive, happy, and we're going to see... We're going to go into these new ancient event things and all these other events with a positive mindset for now. And uh, I guess we'll see how quickly it degrades if it does. <laughs> That's generally my, my take on life anyway. It's like... I'm going to be happy about this or take a positive spin on this until I get really annoyed for some reason. But no, we're going to try our best to ignore that part of our brains for now. And we're going to try and enjoy things. So I'm going to actually try and do Dungeon this week. Um, I'm going to potentially try and do the solo event and uh, just get everything done. You know, we do have pieces for cappuccino if we want them. I do already have the cappuccino from years ago. But for anyone that does want cappuccino, there are pieces in the dungeon and in the spinning wheel. So, you know, there's a lot of dragons. There's a lot of new dragons coming out recently. And then, of course, we're going to have the ancient event probably very, very soon. So, um, a lot of stuff to keep being excited for. 
and uh, you know when we get our new dragon master pass I'm hoping to see um, fire dragons being included in it once again whether that happens or not will left to be seen but that's my hope until then I'm not going to really care about the dragon master pass but positivity month ceremony appreciation month and DML positivity day was the other day so we're feeling good right now we're feeling good and I hope that you are too so anyway for now I appreciate you joining me today make sure you're logging in for all of this soul event stuff and feeding your dragons and whatever else it asks and check the wiki for the tears when it goes up but anyway for now thank you and I hope to see you again very soon